Laura Ingram, Fox News show host, yes. decided to say that LeBron James should just shut up and dribble, essentially saying he's not qualified to comment on social and political issues. He should con confine his interests, his passions, and his speech to basketball, which is stirred a firestorm. LeBron has responded uh, first on Friday night and then doubled down on Saturday, saying he will not simply shut up and dribble. He means too much to too many people, and the discussion with him leading it is important. To this, you say what? The woman has a ton of followers, so obviously there's somebody out there that cares what she has to say. And it's just, it's just disappointing to me, man. I, I live in the Bay Area. We don't care what color you are. We don't care what sexual orientation you are. We just care about your character and what kind of person you are. So while it may be veiled as something else to her, to me, I, I took the, the statements as, as kind of a racist kind of thing to say. And also something that, hey, it's All-Star Weekend. We know a lot of attention is going to be placed here. Why not bring some attention my way? And uh, it's unfortunate that somebody would stoop that low to get some attention. It's thinly veiled. It was barely veiled. Yeah. You know, and all these people, all these uber conservatives, and I don't care if people at Fox News are offended, all these uber conservatives, and that's not all they have, but it's a large part of the roster, who then step forward and say, well, I'm not a racist. Well, when do these people ever say, oh, yeah, I am a racist? Yeah. Whoever says that, whoever says I said something bigoted. And what she said was it was insulting. It was, it was disrespectful. Who the hell is she? She's so smart yeah. that she's going to now tell people, what they should comment on, shut up and dribble. And I realized she was playing off the title of something, whether it's a book or lecture yeah. or whatever she's got. But shut up and dribble. You take yourself that seriously, you're that smart. It's interesting that all these, again, uber conservatives who talk about how, what, what stable geniuses they are, but yet they sound like morons when they try and dictate to other people what they should talk about, what they're yeah. intelligent enough to talk about. And she's, she comes off like a bigot. I don't know her. I don't know her work. I turn as yeah. frantically off Fox yeah. as I can. It's not allowed on in my house the news, yeah. cable news network, because of things like this. Yeah. And so, you know, but, I, but Bradley Beal, and we're here at All-Star Weekend again, um, which, which, which has turned, really turned to this discussion, because people are angry. I'm angry. It's angering. It's insulting when you say that people, what, pe what is she saying? People who look like you? People who look like this? People who grow up a certain way. What is she yeah. saying? What, 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 what she's saying is, they, is she the they, they. those people. Yeah. But they don't want to own it. They're scared yeah. to own it. Bradley Beal, an all-star and a Washington Wizard, we, we like to talk to about things like this. Who, Another who, guy who who's, definitely has said some things that have kind of probably not to received the spotlight it deserves. And, and that's right, because he's a smart guy with diverse yeah. interests that yeah. I guess Miss Laura would say should shut up and, and just stick to basketball. He said, you know what, um, LeBron has a huge voice. He's a powerful man in this culture. In fact, he has probably a greater impact on the society right now than she does. And that's what, maybe she didn't want that. Maybe she doesn't think that somebody who is black or brown, who is not as formally educated as she is, should be able to comment on these things or have influence. Maybe that's the resentment. Yeah. And that's what angers me. Who the hell is she to decide what people can talk about? And, and the ignorance comes from not knowing your subject. You know, it, it's easy for DACA to, to do things to kids you've never met. You know, it's easy to talk bad about black folks that you haven't been around. You know, and, and it's also unintelligible yeah. Yeah. to talk about an athlete that you, who, who's changed the world in a lot of ways. Who you think just dribbles. Yeah. That's I mean, if you... Wants. You want to talk about him as a ball player? I'm sure he's fine with it, but I, I, I think it's unintelligible yeah. that, that, to, to question anything about his intelligence, what he's done in the world, um, just the, the impact that he's made, not only the, as a humanitarian, but in the entertainment world, despite not going to college. It's, it's actually pretty extraordinary what he's done to put his buddies in, in position of power. So one of the great stories of the hood so to speak to to rise from nothing to being the the king james that he is and um so i think maybe she should go check and spend some time in his shoes instead of having him go on the air with her i'm gonna let that be the final word um for the undefeated from nba all-star weekend in los angeles mark spears mike robago